Hello, welcome back to a new video. So it's been a few months since I sold my Steam Deck and I wanted to make an update video on why I don't regret selling the Steam Deck and also a bit of an update on my travel in Thailand. As you may know, my first video about the Steam Deck somehow has, amazingly, it has 277,000 views, which is more than I ever expected. And in the video, I did mention briefly about my backpack, which you can see is still with me, still behind me, and I also did mention about my future travel plans to Thailand, which I'm in Thailand right now. I can't really show you where I am because, you know, there's a lot of weirdos on the internet. I do have some videos I took when I was out and about in Thailand traveling around, but this channel is not really about travel. It's more about gaming and tech. So I don't know if I'd upload my Thailand travel videos. So anyway, I don't really regret selling the Steam Deck because, well, initially I thought I was gonna come to Thailand. I won't have time to do a lot of serious gaming on my laptop. So I initially bought the Steam Deck because in my mind, I thought I was gonna be traveling every day and lugging around a big heavy laptop would be kind of uncomfortable. And I thought a smaller handheld device would be more beneficial to my travel plans. But it turns out that upon coming to Thailand, I haven't been traveling every single day. I've been traveling every weekend with my girlfriend, which I now have a Thai girlfriend, by the way. And we do go traveling every weekend, which is great and everything. But the thing is, we don't go traveling every single day because she has to go to work and I have to spend basically Monday to Friday at home in the apartments that we now live in together. And it turns out that having a laptop is actually a lot better if you just stay in an apartment all day long because the laptop screen is a lot bigger. You can do much better gaming with a gaming laptop than you can with just a little handheld console. The handheld console would have been great if I was spending the majority of my time out and about. But it turns out that in reality, you just can't really travel every single day for like three months straight. That's just kind of impossible and unreal realistic. So I find myself in a situation where I'm spending basically Monday to Friday all day long inside, not going outside and just staying at home. And having a laptop is so much better because, well, I'm on the laptop basically all day long, either gaming or doing some streaming or making some videos or maybe just watching some YouTube or watching some Twitch streamers. And I find myself just using the laptop basically 90% of the day. And if I didn't have the laptop and I just had the Steam Deck, I feel like it would have been very uncomfortable and eventually I would have had to either get a laptop or just buy like a monitor or a small TV to plug the Steam Deck into and also get a keyboard and mouse for the Steam Deck. At that point, the portability of the Steam Deck would have been reduced to not much better than just getting a laptop. Now, to be honest, even though I am happy with my laptop, I am not happy with the state of my backpack. Now, the size of the backpack is okay, but my backpack is just way too heavy. It weighs, I think it weighed about 15 kg, which is very heavy. I'm not a very strong guy, as you may know by just seeing the shape of my body and carrying 15 kg on my bag I can do it for about maybe half an hour to an hour after an hour of carrying that thing on my bag I mean on my back it starts to get really uncomfortable and also when you go to airport security you gotta take everything out to go in the scanner and it's such a pain. I've got to pull out my laptop, I've got to pull out my iPad, I've got to pull out my Live View Solo, I've got to pull out my battery banks, my Switch OLED, and also the power bricks, all of the charging power bricks are huge. And I'm not very happy with the current state of my backpack because I kind of pride myself on traveling light. This is not a light backpack, by the way. It looks small, it looks like I'm traveling light, but the backpack is not light. But you might be thinking, since you still go traveling on the weekends, don't you regret not having a Steam Deck anymore? Because you could have brought the Steam Deck with you on your travels on the weekend. I could also bring my laptop, but I don't really want to because we're going traveling, we're going sightseeing. I'm not really gonna be sitting in a hotel room playing a lot of PC gaming on my laptop. But I did try bringing my Switch OLED and I did play it for maybe a few hours, played a bit of Dark Souls Remastered. And it was okay. I mean, it's basically like Elden Ring and it plays pretty well on the Switch OLED. The problem is when I'm in travel mode, when my brain is in travel mode, I'm not really interested in gaming. I'm more interested in, you know, experiencing the new place I'm in and relaxing in the hotel and enjoying food and drink and my girlfriend. I just don't really feel like I'm in a gaming mood. So even if I brought, even though I brought my Switch OLED with me for a few of the trips, I found myself barely touching the Switch OLED for longer than just maybe one hour. And then I get kind of bored and then we have to go to bed or we have 
have to go to the next destination. And I'm not going to play it in the car because I get motion sickness. If I have to look at anything like a book or my phone whilst I'm in a car, I start to feel really sick and queasy. So I don't even dare touch my Switch OLED when I'm in the car. So I'm just trying to think about my life situation and think about how would a Steam Deck improve my life? When I'm at home, I've got a gaming laptop, which is very good, very powerful, big screen, 17 inch. It does everything a Steam Deck can do and much more and much better. There's nothing my laptop can't do that a Steam Deck can do, apart from maybe fit in my trouser pocket. And that's only if you've got very big trouser pockets, which unfortunately my trouser pockets are not big enough to even put a Steam Deck in because I don't wear cargo trousers like I used to. And then when I go weekend traveling, I don't really want to do any gaming anyway, so I wouldn't even bring the Steam Deck if I was going to do weekend traveling. So I already know how a Steam Deck would fit into my life. It seems like with my current life, a laptop is fine. Actually, I don't even need the Switch OLED. I kind of want to sell the Switch OLED now because I very rarely touch it and the games on it are not even that great. The only reason I want to keep onto it is because there might be some new Nintendo games coming out next year, like a new Zelda that I might have to review and I need the Switch OLED to be able to play the game so I can review it because, you know, I actually need to play the games before I can review it. It'd be kind of stupid if I made a review on something that I've never even played. So my tech usage ratio is probably like 99% gaming laptop and then 1% Switch OLED. I don't really mind keeping the Switch OLED because it's so tiny, it's so small and slim, it fits into my backpack really easily. There's no power brick or anything. And it is very portable, much more portable than the big chunky and thick Steam Deck is. And I don't really mind carrying it around. And like I said, it is fun for a bit of casual gaming, like a bit of Mario Kart here and there that I can't really do on my laptop. And in case you're wondering, I did manage to sell my Steam Deck for a pretty good price. I sold it for about £400. They did offer me £420, but because I didn't have the original box. I didn't have the manual either because I chucked it out. First day I got my Steam Deck, I thought I was going to keep it because it was really cool. And I just kind of tore the box up and I chucked the manual into the bin. So they didn't give me full price, but they still gave me a pretty good price. I paid a total of £550 for it. And they sold, they bought it from me for £400. So I did lose about £150. But that's okay because I did get to experience using it and I did make a lot of money from the videos that I made from it. So it's not really a loss at the end of the day. A lot of the comments on the 277,000 viewed video about why I regret buying the Steam Deck were saying stuff like, how can you even think that anyone's going to buy it from you after you dropped your Switch onto the screen of the Steam Deck? And that's just funny because number one, I dropped the Switch from maybe a height of two inches, which is like that high. And the Switch weighs nothing. It's not like a chunk of metal. It's just like a 200 gram piece of plastic. And I bought the most expensive Steam Deck, which has Gorilla Glass, which has really strong and scratch re resistant glass. So the screen of the Steam Deck didn't suffer or receive any kind of damage from dropping a 200 gram piece of plastic onto it. I don't know why people thought that it was going to break the Steam Deck or anything. Also, I don't know why anyone thought that the people who watched the video would be the people who would buy the Steam Deck from me. I live in the UK or I lived in the UK. Most of the viewers that watch that video are from America. So nine, none of the people who watch the video are ever going to be the people who would potentially buy the Steam Deck from me. I sold the Steam Deck to a shop in England and no, they didn't watch my video because why would they? Why would they know that I even have a video about the Steam Deck in the first place? They don't know anything about me. They don't even know my name. I just walked in the shop and I said, hey, can I sell the Steam Deck? They said, okay, let's have a look. They said the condition was really good and they gave me a really good price for it. So it's so funny of people saying, oh, how would you expect to sell the Steam Deck after dropping the Switch on it? Um, because I'm not going to show the video to the person that I'm sending it to. So in conclusion, I don't really regret selling the Steam Deck and I kind of want to sell the Switch OLED as well and maybe also sell my gaming laptop and maybe get something that's a bit smaller. 17 inches is nice, but I think it's kind of hard to get into my backpack and maybe having a 15 inch gaming laptop might be a bit better. Also, my 17 inch gaming laptop is getting a bit old now. I bought it last year, I think. So it's well over a year old and I've used it a lot and it might be getting a bit slow. I don't know. 